Good morning from the largest Wocon that I've ever seen. <laughs> what are we doing here today? Well, it's not for uh, home improvement or anything like that. We're actually here to check out the new Park Links project. So it's actually right next to this Wocon, which made this a perfect landmark to book a grab. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, let's go. Good morning from C5. <laughs> yeah, we got to hear ourselves. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear us or not, but this is the start of our journey today. So right off the bat, you can already see this fenced in area. And lo and behold, there it is right there, Park Links. So this is the latest development of Ayala Land. And you can see right here, this is uh, the lattice. And I believe this is an Alveo project. So at Park Links, because it's an Ayala project, you're gonna see a lot of Ayala Land Premier and Alveo condos. So we know it's very early stages here for Park Links, but we've actually been reading a lot of your comments and there are people that wanted us to stop by and check it out. So we actually went to an Ayala Land Premier event in BGC at the Shangri-La recently. And um, everybody there is hyping up yeah. and talking up Park Links. Yeah, you know what? What I'm really excited about this tour is I want to see that bridge. Yeah, so um, one of the key features is the Park Links Bridge, which um, ah! lets you get across the um, Marikina River. So it's going to connect uh, Pasig and um, uh, QC, Kesson City. And I believe it's already completed. But to be honest, this uh, walking tour it's very exciting for us because we've never been here before. Yes, it's and, the first time. And we never did any real research on Park Link. We just know it's Ayala, and um, we know it's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can only see the, I can already see the sign. True Park Link. Yeah, so Jenny says she sees the sign. Hopefully they'll let us in and cross the bridge. I really don't know. And I did hear that you're not allowed in certain areas, but there's still very heavy development. Yep. So I just hope we started on the right side. <laughs> okay, Jay, I see an opening. Okay, all right, I see a guard. <laughs> oh my, here we go. This is a real struggle today. Park Links. Oh, look at that. There's a yeah. Park Link sign. Oh. I'm just gonna ask you. Thank you for... Okay, I think we're starting the right way. First off, the staff here is super nice and accommodating. Yes, I like it here. <laughs> okay, so here is the Park Link sign. And it even says, um, what does it say? Kuya it, said that we can vlog as much as we can. We can go to the bridge. I can actually see the bridge from here, Jay. Oh my God. Hang on. This says a joint venture development of Ayala Land. And what's the other one? Eton. Eton, okay. I don't really know what Eton is. We will figure it out soon enough. Wow, I like it here. They are so accommodating. So, as Jenny says, even from this uh, vantage point, we could already see the construction of the new towers and the uh, very cool looking arch bridge. Oh my God. Does it look like the Golden Gate Bridge to you? Well, it's not quite red, but for me, from an American's point of view, I actually think it looks more like um, the arch from, uh, where is it? St. Louis, Missouri. Not quite to the same scale, but um, you know, it's an arch, so there you go. And off to the side, you can see the new condo developments here. And um, I don't see a name, so I'm not sure which property this is, but hopefully we can find that out for you guys. Yeah, it just says North Tower. Because like outside, it says North and South Tower. Okay, it's good to see here. Oh, there's a mop, mop here. So one of the projects from Alveo is called The Lattice. Oh, wow, would you look at that. Oh, uh, hey, look at what they did here. It's so nice. It's like, it's like the whole map. Oh, see? this is extremely cool. Yeah, so we came here, C5, right? Okay, did they even show the world code? Uh, I guess not. Not important, <laughs> just kidding. Not important, just a big, massive <laughs> landmark. Is that an Ayala song? <laughs> so right at the C5 would be the Park Links Mall here. Uh, let me try to zoom in on that. Oh, there it is. Park Link yeah. Mall. Okay, so there's the bridge right there. Yep. That we're going to 
soon cross, hopefully. So this is the passing side, right? Uh, that's the QC side. Oh, this is the QC side. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm always lost with my direction. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Jay, that's what I'm here for. Jay knows better than me, like in every direction related. Yeah. So that's uh, the famous Marikina River. And then this, uh, this section with all this development is um, the Pasig side. Yeah, you should like take a video of this if they want to do a 360 tour of the North Tower, I think. Oh, here you guys So this is go. like the artist perspective. Yeah, so I think that's actually very um, smart of what they did. Yeah, it, it is. You know, to include a map and information. Yeah. But otherwise, you'll be like us in our first impression. Hey, that's a cool looking tower, but what is it? Yeah, so at least we now know this is Ayala Land Premier and this is the, the Park Links North Tower. Okay, we're approaching the bridge. We're approaching the bridge. I don't know why I'm getting excited for the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you want me to give you a tour? Uh, I, I work for Ayala Land. Oh, oh. okay. Sure, uh, sure, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. We're, we're, we're actually vlogging, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, awesome. Okay. okay. Sure. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. What, what just happened, Jay? I, I think we found ourselves a tour guide from Ayala, so that was very nice of him to reach out to us. We told him we were vloggers. Um, yeah, I was just looking out here, and you can already see from um, the Park Links North Tower, they've reached pretty much like the 17th floor. Yeah, for context, Park Links is a 35 hectares development, and just looking across the other side, I can start to see the greenery. It's not a very long bridge by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it's like less than a five minute walk, but you know, it's very peaceful. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Like it really blocks out all the noise from C5. Yeah. And you can start to see the signature Ayala green. I mean, it already starts to feel like Arca South, right? So it's, it's a small township, but you know, it's a kind of nice escape from a lot of the hustle and bustle from NCR. Jay, you look different. Yes, I was enlightened. Enlightened by whom? By this information booth right here <laughs> and the awesome Ayala Land premier agent, which we'll introduce in a future vlog. Ooh, so I, you found a new friend. Yes, I did. <laughs> Until then, it's actually really cool. As we mentioned, they have a lot of information. So we're kind of inside an information tent again, and we could see the Park Links North Tower and also the South Tower. So Jenny and I were actually trying to locate where the South Tower was. So as it turns out, the South Tower is actually right next to the North Tower, as you can see here. And the North Tower is a bit further along than the South Tower. They both will rise to 55 floors. And what stands out about it is they're extremely low density. So there's only between like four to nine units per floor. And uh, each unit, we were informed, has a panoramic view. And as you can see from the area here in Park Links, there's really not much obstruction. So you're gonna get a really awesome view. Okay, so now we're on the other side. So I guess technically we're in Pasig now. Um, to be honest, I don't know where the separation is. We just know from the other side where C5 is, that's considered QC. So here, somewhere it transitions into Pasig. Um, I wanna say it's directly across the bridge, but don't quote me on that. In any case, you can see here, this is uh, starting to get a lot more green and you can really feel the Ayala vibes here. And again, this is uh, across the Marikina River, which you can see here. So one common question I guess would naturally arise is um, how to control kind of the water level and if things like flooding would be an issue. Um, I can't say I'm well versed enough to really comment on that, but we did inquire and we found out more or less um, from where the water level is to kind of the, um, the start of the railing. That's about like five or six stories high. 
Yeah, I think he said like you you need to have like a space like from the water so the water can like absorb well. Yeah, you know, like the land. Something, something like 35 meters is like the minimum. Yeah. So that's kind of uh, you need that type of clearance before you can start doing stuff. So again, I'm not an expert on flooding, so don't quote me on any of this stuff. But it's just something, of course, you're naturally gonna want to learn more about if you're uh, considering living here or purchasing a unit. Oh, I really like this floor here. Can you see it? This one? It's look, it looks like color coded. When we were like away from it, I thought it's like a rug. <laughs> Oh. But it turns out like it looks like a brick. Right? It's kind of different, right? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of different. I don't think we've seen many of these in uh, our walking tours so far. Yeah. This is Anyways, the first time. Uh, Jenny, so what other thoughts do you have? Yeah, I just want to clarify because, um, you know, the other side is Ayala Land Premier, mm -hmm. and then the other side is uh, the Lattice. I think the Lattice is their Alveo. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, that's right. So, Ayala Land Premier is the QC, Alveo is the Passi. One thing we learned about Ayala Land Premier is when they're building these high-end, luxurious uh, residential condo towers like Park Link's North and South Tower, they want to put it in a very strategic location, which is next to the most high-end, luxurious and exclusive villages. And these are projects like... The Corinthians and Green Meadows, and I'm probably missing a lot of it, but you know, those are just like an example. Yeah, I think that's a good reason why the Park Lynx Towers are much closer to C5 and the QC side, as opposed to being more immersed in the Pasig side where the lattice is. So at the end of this side, you can actually see the tallest statue in the Philippines. I think this is uh, what you call the victor or the victory. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's supposed to be the tallest statue in the Philippines and it's going to be like a landmark or something. And you'll also notice more towers rising here. I can't comment too much on these projects since I really don't know what they are. But I do know they do not belong to Park Lynx and I think they are actually Robinson's developments. So I think um, what will be interesting to see is how this area that we're looking at now blends and harmonizes with Park Lynx. Uh, I think our contact said that there will be a connection between the two, you know, in the near future. Yeah, so here is just more greenery. And you can see this uh, tall tower off in the distance here. I believe we were told this is actually Circulo Verde, which is an Ortigas land development. We actually haven't crossed over and visited yet, but we are also uh, being told that they're going to actually build a bridge so you can gain much quicker access to Circular Verde. Guys, we're like the only one walking here. <laughs> I don't see anyone here. <laughs> it's not too sunny either. It's not like, you know, the... It's not burning. Yeah, it's not burning me yet. So as Jenny mentioned, this is the lattice. And... Um, you really can't see much yet, so they're probably at the very early stages. Yeah, but it's nice to like um, document this because like maybe if we if we go back here at the end of the year or maybe like next year, then you will see the progress, the development. Jay, it's just nice to know that Ayala like is so open to connect with um, other uh, developers. Like you know, they're willing to uh, build a bridge connected to Circular Verde, and then they're willing to open it with the Robinsons. So. It's just really nice. So more and more projects rising in the Philippines. Yes, it's true, we're still in NCR, but keep in mind we are actually outside of BGC, so yeah. we're not just living in our exclusive bubble. And you can just see there's just so much development going on. At some point, Jenny and I need to come back here to film this at night, because I hear the bridge actually lights up. Yep, I think I saw some videos with this bridge. Well, seeing as we're here in broad daylight, unfortunately, won't be able to show you uh, much more than this. <laughs> so use your imagination. <laughs> or just get it from the other YouTubers. <laughs> All right, I guess that concludes our tour today of Park Lynx, which is an exciting new development from Ayala Land. And um, I guess we're still very early, as you can see from the footage. The North Tower is rising, the South is just getting started, Yep. and the Lattice is still nowhere to be seen, kind of. <laughs>
Yeah, you, you can see that the, the grass, the landscape, they are well maintained. Like I know that nobody's here, but still, right? They uh, really do their best to uh, maintain the area. And that is, I think, just very signature Ayala land. Yeah. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you did, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel below. We're going to really be looking forward to giving you more insights into the projects here, such as uh, Park Links, North and South Tower, and also the Lattice. So hopefully we'll be able to give you guys showroom tours in the very near future. And we'll be sure to put in any contact information in the description box below. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at BGC Dreams. So with that said, we are now going to try to grab lunch. So thanks again for tuning in. and. Inga <laughs> The only Tagalog that Jay learned this year. Peace. <laughs> Bye.